they get to know you in these five, ten minutes. Uh, what prompted you to go to uh, Ignite uh, as opposed to the college route? Yeah, just I felt like the Ignite path was, I mean, the best route for me as far as me playing at the highest level of competition, and then just me also just being challenged, and it just it was just it was a time to showcase that I could to be better. Uh, I was challenged when I went there, so it was just me like being able to show that growth. Uh, me to be able to like show that I was resilient and just being able to overcome, overcome adversity. And I mean, the night path, I mean, it's, it's, it's good because you, you go in there and then you, you challenge because like every game you playing, like you're going to get everybody's best game. So it's, it's, it's tough, but I mean, at the same time, you get better. And that's, that's what the night program is all about, going what, in there and getting better. Oh, sorry. What's it like uh, trying to showcase yourself for NBA teams in the G League when there's only so many games and it's kind of a small sample size in terms of the numbers that you uh -huh. I mean yeah it's it's as far as it's just like everybody on the team is coming together as one that's really what it's about everybody everybody getting along trusting the coaching staff and then just really putting in the work and that's that's what it's all about at the end of the day just putting in that work and I feel like when, when you get out there it's all going to show so yeah. what are some of the things you do well on a court things that I do well I'm, I'm a three level scorer I'm a playmaker. I, I got the ability to create, play, make, create for my teammates. And I mean, I, I feel like I, I got the ability to defend. So that's that's my game right there. Do you view yourself as a, strictly a shooting guard, a combo guard, someone who can play both guard positions? Yeah, I, I see myself as somebody that can play both because I, I feel like I got the ability to score. And not only to score, but I got the ability to play make. And that's what I feel like like people like try to undersize me on my game. Like, but I really can pass. And I feel like I showed that today in the workout, getting my teammates involved. And that's that's really what that's all about. What, what are teams asking you about during this process? Uh, really, they're just asking me about my Ignite, uh, my Ignite uh, like my uh, process with them, like how did it go? And then really just like showing them like what I can do, like coming in putting in the work, showing that I'm, I'm the best. Like every time I step on the floor in these workouts, that's that's what I'm trying to do. So, so every team. Since the end of the, the uh, G League season, what areas have you tried to, to focus on in terms of improvement? Uh, yeah, like that's that's one of the things about Ignite. Like going into Ignite, you learn a lot about yourself. And then like, I feel like with the Ignite path, it showed me like, like playing with a shot clock. So you got to, the, the game is much faster. So playing with pace. So it showed me that I need to be in better shape. So I got in better shape. I also, it, it showed me like I needed to get stronger. So like just being in the weight room every day, getting in shape and then really just like getting your routine going. That's what it's all about. Like getting that routine, like after every practice, making sure you put in your work. So that's 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 what it is right there. Speaking of being in shape, what did you think of the 20 end to ends in two minutes? Oh yeah, that, that was tough. But I feel like, I mean, I, I did a pretty good, pretty good job. I was on pace to get it. But I fell short like at 19 or 18. But but I mean it, it was tough though, like just being able to do that right after coming out and playing with like no break. So it, it was tough though. But I feel like I did I did I showed, showed that I was I wasn't gonna stop and I wasn't gonna like get down. Hey Jay, and I talked to Ron Strickland about you, and he said you're a professional scorer. Yeah. Can you just talk about having someone like that you can kind of go back and forth with it and learn from. Yeah, like being able to learn from Rod while I was there was great. Like he was always on my side always telling me new things like and just trying to help my game and like to hear that coming from him like and he played at, the, at this level and just like me taking all the advice that, that he was giving me and just to, to add to my game so I mean I, I appreciate Rod and the whole staff over there at Ignite just like for helping me and that's 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 really what it was there. Yeah. And then you see some of the guys that have took the Ignite path to see the success Kaminga right mm -hmm. now and just other guys, what does that kind of confidence get for you going into this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's what the night path is, is about. Like, getting that confidence, like playing at this level. Like, so you could be ahead of like everybody else that's coming out of college. Like, they're going to have times where they got to adjust too. But I feel like I'm already adjusted. My confidence is already there. Like, from already playing in the G League, playing against grown men, like playing against Kaminga. Like, I played against Kaminga this year, Moses Moody. So, just like playing against those guys, getting my confidence up is, is preparing me for this level, and I feel like I'm ready. Watching you over there, you, you weren't missing from three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like uh, the numbers you had in the G League aren't indicative of how good of a shooter you are? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm I've been a shooter my whole life, so like that's that's, that's that those like what people say about me. I don't really like I put in work. Like I put in work every day, 
And like like you were saying, I wasn't really missing it. That's that's how it really is. When I'm in this gym, I'm locked in. And I feel like, I mean, it's all gonna come to translate. But really, that's that's what the In Life Path is about. Like really like going out there, getting that confidence, like getting adjusted to this game. That's that's all it was to me, just being able to get adjusted and gain my confidence. I, I don't really like the numbers. I'm a way better shooter than what the numbers tell you. <laughs> way better shooter than what the numbers tell you. <laughs> We're gonna ask him this about you when he's here. But what's Dyson Daniels like? Dyson Daniels, I mean, he's a great player, great personality, and that, that's one. Of, that was one of my boys when we was there. And like coming in, like he was quiet, but I mean, as time went on, he started to show his personality, started to st talk more. So Dyson, he 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 a good guy. That's that's my, my my boy. Like all of us on our t on the team, all the young guys that was on the night, we was all cool. Like we was all like had a great friendship. So. With his height and his, what, what are some of the things he does well on the court? Uh, Dyson, I feel like he's a, I mean, what he does well, I feel like he's a great playmaker, the ability like to get his teammates involved, great defender, and then really he's like a big guard, so he has the ability like to finish over the top of little little guards or finish at the rim, and that's that's what that's what that's Dyson's game right there, ability to knock down open shots. So. What do you think about Bradley Beal's game as a, a mm -hmm. guard who's working out for the Wizards? Yeah, I mean, Bradley Beal, that's, that's one of the people I was compared to in high school. And, like, Bradley Beal, like, I watch a lot of film on Brad. So, just, like, I mean, being able to, like, to come here and, like, be where he's playing at right now, I feel like that's, that's, that's exciting. And just, like, knowing that he's here and then just, like, I feel like just, like, with me watching, like, a lot of his film and, like, me being compared to him, that's that's great. That's what, that's what I think about Brad. Good player, great player I mean, to me. Like, did you talk with the Wizards at the Combine or anywhere else previously? And if so, what was the kind of feedback that they had given you? Uh, no, I haven't talked to the Wizards yet. This is my first time like being in here and talking with their staff. I know they was at my pro day, but yeah. Where do you head next on your workout schedule? Uh, I head to Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. You said Atlanta? Yeah. Any other ones scheduled so far? Yeah, I got yeah, I got some more schedule. You want to hear them all? Well, <laughs> you don't mind. You don't mind. We're curious. <laughs> yeah, I got Charlotte after Atlanta. Um, New Orleans, and that's all I can think about right now. I know I, th I know I go to Dallas, so yeah. you will have Dallas. Yeah, I will go to Dallas. So you're gonna be racking up the frequent flyer miles. <laughs> yeah, getting the points. <laughs> Where have you been so far? Where have I been? I've been. To, uh, I just came from Minnesota yesterday. Before that, I was at OKC, Milwaukee, and Golden State. Right. Was uh, Kyle Kuzma in here watching you work out? Yeah, Kyle Kuzma was in here too. I had the time, chance to talk to him in the training room as well. Yeah. He was telling me what up, and like he already knew who, like, who I was. And like, we, we both from Michigan, so we got that Michigan Same. connection. So yeah. we, we, was, we was able to, I was in there chopping it up with him. So. Yeah. Did he give you any advice that you'll remember for uh, the long haul? He just told me to keep going. So that's all he told me to go. He's like, just keep going, boy. I'll be seeing you. So. And speaking of that, has, has there been any uh, players in the league that you be able to, you know, Get advice from and lean on. Uh, yeah, like players that I've been able to talk to, like get advice from, is like Brian, cause I'm like I'm signed with Clutch Sports, so I've been able to like sit down and talk with Brian, Dane, Dane Willard. Like I had had times when I worked out with Dane, so being able to work out with Dane, being able to learn from him, I mean that was that was great. And then not only Dane, but James Harden too. Like that's that's my my dog too. So being able, I worked out with James a couple of times too. And he was always, he was teaching me about creating space. Just like on the step backs and like just playing with pace, learning my like getting my pickups right, and then Trey Young too. So I've been talking to Trey Young, and like Trey Young is like on my side too. So just being able like to talk to Trey, like seeing what he has done in this league and like the confidence he has, he just told me like to keep going, keep that confidence level. So that's a that's a pretty good list of players. Yeah. Uh, so if you sign with Clutch, you get to sit down with LeBron. <laughs> it was just like we was at an event and like he already knew who I was because oh, okay. I played Bronny in high school. <laughs> So he already knew who I was, and then like just being able to like connect with Brian, like it was cool. So. What's the most challenging thing about this pre-draft process? Uh, I should probably say the most challenging thing is probably just like like flying, like going going in and working out, then like probably flying the next day. You got another workout like the very next day, kind of like just one like I had today. But I feel like I still overcame it, didn't let it like get, get in my head, just keeping the right mentality. But I probably say that's probably the hardest part that most guys most guys say like just being able like to, to, to bounce back from like a back to back, like when you're flying all over the place. So. Did you enjoy the transition from living in Michigan to living in Nevada? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It, it, it was nice. It's very different. <laughs> it's very different, but yeah, I enjoyed it. And like just going out there, being able to like going out there and like make a name for myself, I feel like it, it was good for me. So.
Well, thank you for being so helpful.